um, kujua sasa huo mziki weje master mm. na kumbuka sometime back pia kulikuwa kuna hiyo hayo mazungumzo mm. kwamba mwanamuziki ni inabidi awe mwanamuziki kama hajui kupiga gitaa basi hajui hata kupiga keyboard kama hajui kupiga keyboard basi apige hata ngoma mm. you know awe na uwezo wa ku, wa, ku, wa, ku, wa kupiga na bendi eh kuna niko nasikiza wimbo wa ngwea mm. I, uh, i can't remember ni wimbo gani lakini alikuwa anasema kwamba eh hip hop artist ni yule ambaye anakuwa tu na DJ na na ma scratch anakuwa kamalizana aje kupiga na band how important is it kwa msanii mm. kujua kupiga chombo au kuwa hata na idea ya kusoma hata noti ya mziki mm. swali zuri no ninategemea na mzi, aina ya mziki ambao unafanya kuna mziki ni ya band mm. reggae <laughs> reggae ni mziki ya mm. ya band kuna rock Mhm. Mm kuna genre kule kuna neno wanatumia genre. Inategemea na genre. Lakini kama R&B sio lazima upige. Michael Jackson hajai kupiga chombo. Mm. Kwa mfano. Unaelewa? So kwa hiyo inategemea na genre ambayo unaifanya. Sema kama we ni mwimbaji, ni muhimu kama unaweza uka, uka perform na band kwa sababu mwisho wa siku kuna nyimbo za radio ambazo una record studio tunaweza tukakutengeneza but kuna live pe performance yeah. yeah so if you're singing r&b kama unaimba r&b kwa mfano ni muhimu ujue kuimba kwa sababu kuna siku ukienda ku perform live to perform na bendi. same with bongo flavor unajua kama we ni mwimbaji there's a day you're gonna sing with the band sasa kama we uwezo wako ni mdogo uta uta, uta struggle taadhirika ndio maana kuna <laughs> nikasema hivi kwenye top top 10 yetu ya top 5 tuseme ya yeah, yetu ya Tanzania tuna performers wazuri lakini they're not the best singers watu wakaja juu ndani nikasema hiyo ni sio hapa tu Tanzania hata Ulaya wao wow, ambao wanafanya vizuri they're not the best singers or rappers they're the best entertainers mm -hmm. ni vitu viwili tofauti eh yeah, uh, um, tof, uh, tofauti but yeah if you're a singer jiongeze kwa sababu kuna siku utaenda kwenye sehemu unaambia kwamba bwana leo Unajua kuna mikoa uwezi kuimba na CD. Hapa pata hapa pata Tanzania. One of them ni Mtwara. Mtwara uwezi kuperform na, na CD kama baki. Siju kwa wangapi wanajua hicho kitu. Sasa inamaanisha wewe kama ni msanii wa mwimbaji wa Bongo Flava unaenda kuathirika. Ndio Mtwara. Mm. Yeah. Sasa master. Nyinyi ndo ambao mnawarekodia. <laughs> Sawa eh? Mm. Anakuja pale anatoa hela yake 700 700. Hiyo hapo chukua, gudugudugudu, mm. aingiza hapo imba hivi, eh, hey, hiyo fresh kabisa una unamsetia umeme pale, anaondoka inaenda redioni inakuwa kubwa, inabidi mm. aitwe Mtwara sasa ende akaperform. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Sasa hapa mbaya na dishe. Naweza kujibu vizuri. Zamani mimi Pfunk Boni kabla sija, kabla tujapokea la tuko tunaomba kwanza mfanye audition mm -hmm. if you are a bad singer sichukue la yako hiyo ndo tofauti kubwa watu wanauliza hivi jamani kuna tofauti gani kati ya kipindi kile na kipindi sasa hivi tulikuwa tunaangalia kwanza kama, kama if you are a bad rapper tunakuombea kafanye mazoezi tunakupa na, na ushauri of course if you are a bad singer hivyo hivyo squeeze ni matumbo tu Machugara lazima ukumbuke kitu kimoja. Hiyo kazi pale unapomkabidhi huyo msanii hivi, ikienda huko anaenda kusema kwamba nilifanya kwa Master J. Of course. That's what we were prided kwamba sitaki nikupe master ambayo wewe unaenda kutangaza kwamba mimi ndo nimeitengeneza afu ni mbovu. Yeah. Kwa sababu nikikutana na mtu DJ anakuja kunembe master eh. Hey, yaani kuna msanii anaitwa fulani. Mm. Kanipigia wimbo wake mbona mbovu ule rafiki yangu? Ulikuwa unafikiria nini? Unaona? Mm -hmm. So we prided in our reputation. Lakini sasa hivi watu wanaangalia tu hela. And that's where the problem lies. Uh, nyuma kidogo kulikuwa kuna kuna majibizano, maneno maneno. Mm -hmm. eh, kuhusu masuala ya royalties eh, mm -hmm. kati ya maproducer pamoja na wasanii. Mm -hmm. Na hii ilibuka zaidi baada ya issue ya P-Funk na na, na Professor J. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> e, movie imetengenezwa huko Disney. Wimbo ume umepigwa ume, 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 ume ndani yake. Mm. Jamaa kakasi Tingruma anaangalia kitu akakutana na ngoma yake. Umeona <laughs> bwana? Mm. 
akazungusha akafa, akafanikiwa kulipo punga mrefu tu then msanii akaja ka anadai baada ya kujua kwamba jamaa akachukua mpunga mwingi anadai pesa yake producer akawa mkali sawa akamwambia shee hii yangu yep iso yako wewe umeingiza maneno baada ya mimi kutengeneza kitu changu ingawa msanii alilipa pengine laki mbili laki nne Allahu alam hii elimu huwa mnao hapa hawa watu wanaokuja studio au namwambia tu kwamba bwana biti laki saba hii yako sasa ah sasa una maswali mazuri kuna kuna vita nyingine ambayo hiyo fuse ikifiatuka inabidi nianzishe <laughs> Fuse hebu nikupige na kitu kizito. <laughs> Kuna nyimbo ambazo mimi nilizitengeneza. Mhm. Nikalipo 5000, 10000, 20000, lucky. Hiyo hela ambayo tunalipoaga hivyo, by the way, ni hela studio time. Do, uh, wasanii wengi wanashindwa kuelewa kwamba kwamba kuna producer, kuna studio. We, Lakini kwa kwamba wewe ulishindwa toka siku ya kwanza hawataki kuelewa unaona ndio hiyo mtu anakuambia kwamba a ah, misil ni kulipa 5000 mm. kwa hiyo nilishanunua haki zako zote <laughs> yani mungu wangu umeelewa kwa hiyo leo tu leo nimeona kuna msanii ambaye nilimtengenezaga wimbo amepost kabisa jamani nyimbo zangu hizi hapa unaweza kwenda kwenye digital platform fulani ndio unaweza kazipata yani hata hajaongea na mimi nothing na ukimuuliza atakwambia kwamba misil nishamlipa 10000 Misi, no you ile umelipia studio time if you kama unataka kununua haki zangu a buyout hiyo mm. is sheria zipo sio tu nje hata hapa Tanzania bwana J mimi naomba i think you would have paid milioni 10 naomba nikupe milioni 5 sasa hivi ili Uniyaki. haki zote eh diacha haki zote sio za kwangu hiyo ipo maneno lakini was huyo kama hiyo issue ya pifa ndio ilikuwa hivyo hivyo mtu msanii anafikiri kwamba eti ameshanunua haki zako zote hivi kweli all my future revenues kutokana na huo wimbo umenunua kwa 5000 wasanii waache dharao ndio maana nakwambia hivi hiyo fuse mwaka huu itakatika lakini na hakika nilikuwa nasubiri mwaka huu it's not gonna happen <laughs> wote ambao nimewarekodia nyimbo na me, wameka kwenye digital platform nizamu yangu sasa kwa sababu majani yameshamaliza hizo unajua alianza over 3 years ago i think by now na aliniambia kabisa bwana i'm going to do this na wewe fanya mimi at that time nilikuwa na kwenye stress zangu mm. nikao na ngoja sasa stress zimepungua ndo nitamka nao hizo nyimbo kuna haki ya mtu aloandika kuna mtu alotunga melody na kuna mtu alogonga beat i have my rights mnapeleka kwenye digital platform mnaziuza hamjawa hata kuniona mimi na sihitaji hata kutumia ndio maana hata pifa hakuhitaji kutumia nguvu nyingi kwa sababu sheria hapa Tanzania zipo lakini wasanii kitu wanachokifanya sio sio sawa wanachofanyia producers mm. kwa hiyo mwaka huu i movie nyingine ndio hiyo ambayo ambayo itakuja uh, let's talk ruge kutumia <laughs> ya maswali sija kutumia mm. ni hapa hapa mzee wangu balipo kwenye meza mhm What kind of person was he? He's different to each person. <laughs> He's different <laughs> for each person. Akiwa na mimi anakuwa mtu tofauti akiwa na wewe. No. Kila mtu ana mtazamo wake kutokana na Okay. Maisha yake at that time. All right. MJ Records became very big kwa sababu ya Ruge. Naomba niseme ukweli. Naomba nimpe hiyo. Kwa sababu we went into an agreement. Kwamba alikuwa anapenda sana aendeleze mziki wa bongo na ilikuwa anapenda kwamba hata mimi i had that passion kwa hiyo kazi ndio tukaanza kufanya kuna album ya kwanza ilikuwa inaitwa asubuhi kulikuwa kuna fina mango lady jd terence kina seven ml ML chris yeah yeah that was the first album tulifanya afu out of passion umeelewa then tukaenda kufanya album sasa kama ya judith wa mbu yani judith machozi Mwenyewe ela zikaanza. Sasa ela zilivuanza sasa. <laughs> Mia was like, dude. VP. Mm. Sasa wapo ndo mambo yakabadilika. Mkope uchako. Mm. Lakini sio vizuri kuasema, kumsema vibama leo. I, I understand, mm. but ambacho nataka tuweke sawa ni kwamba uh, kwenye kwenye macho 
ya watu wengi mm. kipindi fulani mm. alikuwa hayuko kwenye kitabu vitabu vizuri sawa eh yeah. sawa mm. e, lakini baada ya kutangulia mbele ya haki ikaonekana kwamba kuna mchango mkubwa sana kwa ke kwenye industry yetu hii yeah like, you can I, say that of course mm. but hiyo hai 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 haifuti hai mm. sawa eh haifuti mm. huyo mtu ambaye unamzungumzia hapa sasa hivi haifuti sawa kwa sababu huyo ni mtu ambaye alikuwepo mm. ambaye alikuwa yeye so shida yenu kubwa ilikuwa nini hela okay sawa njibu ambalo alinipa aliniambia kwamba listen if can you put a price on the kwa sababu nyimbo ambazo tulikuwa tunazifanya luckily yeah, he had access to a media house mm. radio alikuwa na access kwenye radio station yeah. rotation was crazy manera na kila wimbo uh, mj records studio yangu na mimi nilikuwa napata credit hapo ndo master je yani nilipata credit kwenye kwenye radio naomba ni sana zile eh sana sana kwa hiyo ndo maana nasema siezi naomba nianze kwa kusema kwamba promo alinipa sasa ilipofika sehemu unajua hela zipoanza kutengenezwa mwanzo ni kulikuwa mna hela ni kweli sasa hela zipoanza kutengenezwa Una, unajua ni bina, mini binadamu sasa kuna lolote hapo naweza kupata angalau acha nyimbo basi tuwe tunalipa asilimia hamsini kwa sababu kuna promo inafanyika mm. unajua promo ambayo inakufanyia wewe can you put a value on it anakuambia mm nikaambia it, it's crazy ni, ni kweli unajua if you put a value on it yani ni hela nyingi nyingi sana kwa hiyo basically kwamba tulia kama mimi siwezi kwa sababu mimi kwani mimi kwani mimi ni, ni mashine unajua i needed to eat by that time nilikuwa tayari nilikuwa nishakutana na mama nuru there was nuru alikuwa ameshazaliwa unajua nahitaji kukidhi mahitaji yangu kaambia angalau basi 50 i remember i said kwamba at least 50% basi the song should be paid well basi that was the end of air player mj records <laughs> wakaamia wapi unajua mm. bongo records let's talk about your dad okay yeah. what is what a shift <laughs> okay mwenyezi Mungu amlazim halipema papo amen mimi niliwahi kusikia kuhusu baba yako mm. nilipokuja tu kutoka Zanzibar mm. I used to play basketball believe it or not and I was really good at it <laughs> mm-hmm. yes point guard mm. wewe kuniona wewe ulikuwa sio wapi ah kwenda za ulikuwa uingereza <laughs> <laughs> eh rich people problem <laughs> you and <laughs> you and eh kwa hiyo timu ambayo mimi nilikuwa nachezea mzee wako alikuwa mlezi lakini nilipofika tu nafikiri within that year he passed ah really yes kwa okay. maneno mazuri nilikuwa nayasikia kutoka kwa wachezaji wenzangu kuhusu mzee wako mm. alikuwa na anawatoa mm. anawapeleka kigamboni picnics anasaidia jersey na track suit na nini yani he was a good man mwenyezi Mungu amrehem amen Mm. Eh kwa wewe sasa kama mtoto wake. Mm. Eh alikuwa baba wa aina gani? Yeah, alikuwa ni mzee wa Kichaga. Hamna <laughs> <laughs> porembo. Ah. Na mimi na yeye tumegongana vichwa sana. Kwa sababu nimemaliza chuo sawa. Tatisina sita nimerudi Tanzania. Aliji uh, akasema kabisa ah, ongera kwa kufauna. I've lined up. Unajua yeye kwa sababu ana alikuwa anafanya kazi serikalini. I've lined up interviews ndio nyo ndo raya kuwa na mzee mwenye connection mm. nikaenda sasa interview ambayo ilini ni offer hela nyingi ilikuwa 1500 kwa mwezi mm. yeah. <laughs> 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 afu kumbuka nimefanya ni kazi kule nimenua vyombo vyangu vu, vyote vya mziki nilikuwa tayari na vyombo vyangu vya studio, kuanzisha studio na mtaji wa dola f wewe utaelewa mm. dola f uh, pound f 14 1996 where you know how much it was mm sasa unaniambia kuhusu 50 no kwa sababu nilikuwa nafanya kazi kule so i saved up enough enough money nikakataa ali mind anyway nilienda nikatengeneza studio yangu vyombo nilikuwa navyo ndo nikaanzisha um, mj records nikamwomba 2 years akaniambia okay nakuacha for 2 years jaribu alikuwa anajua kabisa naenda kufeli 2 years uvoisha akaniambia ah time is up kwa hiyo nenda kutafuta kazi nikamwambia sitaki akanifukuza 
so i moved out ni yani akanifukuza nyumbani kwa sababu there was no money kwa hiyo nilikuwa naishi nyumbani kaenda kukaa lego sio lego sasa hivi nyelami lego tofauti na hiyo wanayojua vijana sasa hivi um where to kuongea i think for like 3 4 years yani things were really bad things were really bad lakini mshukuru mwenyezi Mungu just before he passed yani nilikuwa nimeshafika sehemu nina kam MJ Rego ilikuwa inaweza ku rent nyumba masaki dola 3000 kwa mwezi nilikuwa na studio hizi tatu nimeajiri Malo Linche nimeajiri uh, alikuwa Said Komorian kulikuwa kuna professor Ludigo afu kukaa kuna Rajabu Marijani and me of course what to co producers kwenye compound moja receptionist nilikuwa na na maji managing director kwa sababu nilikuwa siwezi kuwa managing director nilikuwa na accountant wewe fikiria enzi hizo kwa hiyo mzee alipata kuona yote hayo um, alifurahi sana akaanza kuleta washikaji zake walikuwa na mcheka miaka yote walikuwa na mcheka kama umesomesha litoto hilo ume, mpaka ume, alikuchukua mpaka mkopo na mamangu mm limekuja huku lina serikodi watu wamevaa suruali chini ya makalio kwenye container walikuwa na mcheka sana so she he started bringing his friends to the new studio masaki full ac so i'm glad he passed away at least to see kwamba my one and only son was successful yeah yeah he's a legend you know <laughs> well he doesn't know that in kwabado i'm so sure good. he does yeah, i hope so yeah <laughs> So that was my dad um we had a very different yani relationship yetu ilikuwa ngumu sana lakini nafurahi kwamba kabla ya Mungu ajamuita tulireconcile akawa anakuja sana studio sana yani kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe alikuwa mwanamuziki at least to reconcile unajua hamna kitu kigumu kama mzazi wako passes on alafu mwenyewe mlikuwa kwenye bad terms yeah. kwa mean, i thank god every day at least we made up namshukuru awesome. Mungu yeah. e, elimu yako ni ya nini wewe electronics engineering ni somo electronics engineer. Kwa hiyo kwa nakuandaa waende za kotanes kwa hiyo. No, nilichagua mimi. Nilivomaliza form 6, unajua pale lazima uchague. I didn't yani salama nilikuwa sijui nataka kufanya nini na maisha yangu. Kabisa. Ah, deadline ikawa inakuja na kuja na kuja walimu akawa ananiambia lazima uchague. Nikaangaliaangalia pale mechanical, aeronautical, as I hell no. Sivo. Yani nikaona angalau electrical electronics. Mm-hmm nikakumbuka nikasema kwamba hii kumplease mzee sasa nikachagua hiyo you right i did i picked it yani kumplease mzee nikasema nitachagua hii hapa it was he happy of course he was happy ndio maana alikuwa when i came back alikuwa ameshanifanyia connection lakini tatizo ndio hivyo total ilikuwa mm. akili yote iko kwenye muziki yani mimi nilikuwa nawaza tu muziki so lini ulijua kwamba unataka kufanya muziki kabisa na kitu gani kilikuvutia kuna historia huko <laughs> kwenu ya muziki labda hata yeah. Yeah, mzee mzee alikuwa anapiga gitaa. Ah, mamangu na mzee walikutana kwenye kwaya Nairobi hiyo. Mm-hmm. They were both singing in the choir. Kwa hiyo wakatupiana jicho. <laughs> maza ndo anajua inabidi umuite maza kueleze hiyo story. <laughs> walikuwa na design yao. <laughs> Excuse me. Lakini walikutana kwenye kwaya. Mzee alikuwa ni mwimbaji anapiga gitaa. Naomba nikwambie ukweli. So, nimekulia kwenye nyumba ambayo this music in the house mm-hmm. lakini sijawahi kuwa na hobi ya kusema kwamba nataka kuimba au kupiga chombo chochote nilipokuwa university kwa sababu university was 96 93 mpaka 96 mm-hmm. 94 ndio nikakutana na mtu my friend alikuwa anaitwa Owen sio anakuwa anaitwa Owen alikuwa ni sound engineer musician artist sasa huyo wakati uyo, niko uni eh wakati niko uni afu tulikuwa tuko same dorm mm-hmm. yani the same dorm na yeye chumba chake aligeuza kikawa studio. Uweze amini bwana. Akawa na wachaji watu kuja kurekodi pale baada ya kusoma. Na alifeli by the way. Kwa sababu alikuwa asomi, yani yeye akili yake yote ilikuwa tuko yani ile same. Alafu ilikuwa inamuingizia hela nzuri. Na he is very successful mpaka leo. Lakini alikuwa anasoma aeronautical engineering akafeli. Yeye ndo siku moja alipita hivi akaniita Can you please help me? Can you please nini? Kaniambia hebu nisaidie kupandisha hicho a fader ya mixer. Alikuwa anajirekodi mwenyewe. Nikamsaidia pia. Nasema okay that's fine. Basi nikaka kai hivi nikamwangalia akawa anapiga gitaa huku anaimba. Anajirekodi. Nikamsaidia saidia pale the next day akaniomba ikaja hivyo hivyo. Akanifundisha sound engineering. 
cooperate machines. Baadaye akaniambia you have to learn how to play the instrument. Akanifundisha keyboard, electric guitar, acoustic guitar na bass guitar. Kwa hiyo huyo ndo safari yangu ilianzia hapo. 94 huwezi kuamini. 94, 95, 96 nika graduate na nikarudi Bongo. Kwa hiyo nimeanza very late safari yangu yao. Muziki na production. I don't think it's late but okay, it's late but I guess sometimes eh Aisha anasema kila siku ma late bloom wale. Eh. <laughs> Lakini uki 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 bloom ndo unakuwa ume bloom kabisa ni moja moja kwa moja. Yeah, yes. <laughs> how, how is your mom? I'm so happy. She um, she's now here. Unajua tuko Tanzania. Ilifika ilifika sehemu mama alikuwa nchi nyingine mdogo wangu. Unajua tuko wawili tu. Mm. Alikuwa nchi nyingine mimi niko huko. Me right now I'm such a happy man because I'm there all here. Wote <laughs> sister namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Mama Karudi, sister Karudi amenzisha her, her company here in Tanzania. So at least unajua the, I believe the the only thing unaweza kufanya na maisha yako is spend quality time with the people you love kabla Mungu hajakuita. No. Yo. Mm. I'm really happy nimeongea na wewe leo. <laughs> Me too. Napenda jinsi unavyokula. Nataka tumalize ni nile kasoka kama unakutaka mimi. Au ili kama watu wengine. Yaani uko na maana sana master. And kama sijaikukwambia. I know nimeshaikwambia but I'm telling you today in front of the cameras na watu wengine wanaangalia. You are such a gentleman. Really? Sana. And I love you. I know when you don't like something. I know when you're faking. I know when you are happy. I know when you don't like something and you're such a nice person. Mwenyezi Mungu akubariki sana and thank you so Amen. much for coming here. Thank you for having me. Mungu akufungulie milango yenye kheri. Uh, by the way my friend Squeezy ni ya <laughs> siri ya mali. Eh uh, ana ni contractor. Mm. Anajenga majumba ya watu alafu sio mwizi. Ma contractor <laughs> wengi sana atakutaka kukupiga faida asilimia 200 <laughs> ya hela ambayo nyumba yako inatakiwa uilipie. Master J is not like that. So kama vipi mcheki kwenye Instagram kama unakaji kiwanja chako same flani wataka kujenga hata kwa milioni 40 tu master anakutolea kitu na box true that asante sana kwa kuja love you salama thank love you so you too, much man yeah. uko ukiangalia yeah. salama na master j asante kwa kuangalia and take care vipo vya la kama sio shida vipo vya kupoteza sio muda wenuka na ukimbize ndoto Kupati aina maana huko sei kiburi kinafanya tujongei tuna aka wapya kila day so ila kufika una why chosen na mfuta na i cry to keep in the mungu na fry yeah yeah me is the hit touch could complain 